It seems that the predictions of many experts and analysts that the loss of Avdiivka would be fatal for the Ukrainian armed forces have finally begun to come true. As it turned out, the rapid retreat of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Avdiivka direction of the front negatively affected other units of the Ukrainian army, which were desperately trying to contain the offensive of Russian troops in other sections of the line of combat contact. In particular, the numerous successes of Russian troops in the Bakhmut direction of the front, in the eastern part of Chesivyar, are directly related to the failures of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Avdiivka direction. The fact is that in the Avdiivka direction of the front, the armed forces of Ukraine continue to suffer huge losses in manpower and heavy equipment. Moreover, war correspondents from both sides recognize the fact that even though the armed forces of Ukraine are in a defensive position, they continue to suffer huge losses in both manpower and heavy equipment. As it turned out, in the last 15 days alone, the armed forces of Ukraine lost about 2,000 soldiers and officers in the Avdiivka direction of the front. In addition, the armed forces of Ukraine also lost about 30 units of heavy equipment of various types. This became possible due to the strengthening of Russian combat aviation, which uses aerial bombs of the FAB and CAB families against the position of the armed forces of Ukraine practically at a frenetic pace. Against this background, the president of Ukraine, Vladimir Zelensky, began literally to beg the West to transfer another batch of air defense systems to Kiev, in order to somehow change the situation at the front. Heavy losses of the armed forces of Ukraine in manpower and heavy equipment in the Avdiivka direction of the front allowed the Russian High Military Command to significantly strengthen the offensive formations of Russian troops near Chesivyar. As a result, the Russian High Military Command was able to combine offensive actions on Chesivyar and Okratino. And the result was not long in coming. Over the past few days, the Russian army has managed not only to take control of the village of Krasnoy and enter the eastern outskirts of Chesivyar, but also move forward significantly in the Avdiivka direction of the front. In particular, war correspondents confirmed that Russian troops finally managed to enter the village of Semenovka and gain a foothold in new territories. According to them, the Russian army took control of the southeastern part of this village. At the moment, the armed forces of Ukraine are trying to dislodge the Russian forces from the village and regain the lost territories. At the same time, it is worth noting that Western analytical centers are still silent regarding the situation in Semenovka. The only thing Western military experts reported is that Russian troops have taken fire control of all roads leading to the village of Semenovka. Moreover, it also became known that the Russian army managed to break through the defense of the armed forces of Ukraine in Berdichy and advance one kilometer deep into the territory. And it was precisely this news that literally shocked all Ukrainian telegram channels since the defense in this settlement was held by the elite nationalist brigade Magura, which is supervised by the Pentagon's top generals. This brigade is equipped with the most modern types of Western weapons, including U.S. Bradley infantry fighting vehicles and Abrams tanks. Moreover, the Americans even organized uninterrupted supplies of Western shells for this brigade. 
Simply put, the US military has created ideal conditions for the fighters of this elite brigade, who have received military training in NATO countries so that they would be able to contain the offensive of Russian troops. Ukrainian telegram channels were depressed to tears from the fact that such a powerful and elite brigade as Magura failed to stop the Russians. According to them, if this elite brigade with its powerful Western weapons and unlimited supplies of shells failed to stop the advance of Russian troops near Berdichy, then ordinary units of the armed forces of Ukraine simply have no chance of even minor success in other sectors of the front. Meanwhile, it became known about the next destroyed U.S. Abrams tank in the Avdiivka direction of the front. It is reported that on March 27, in the area of the village of Bredichi, soldiers of the 3rd Special Purpose Guards Brigade of the Russian Army destroyed another Abrams tank, which fired at the positions of Russian troops from a long distance away. However, as it turned out, this tactic did not help the American tank. A Russian reconnaissance drone discovered an American tank in a field near the village of Bredichi, as a result of which it was destroyed using an FPV drone. Thus, as of March 28, five destroyed U.S. Abrams tanks were officially documented. At the same time, it is worth noting that two more tanks received significant damage and were put out of action in mid-February. Moreover, it is also worth noting that despite receiving spare parts from the Polish side, Ukrainian engineers have still not been able to restore damaged American tanks. Thus, as of March 28, 2024, the total number of Abrams tanks lost by the armed forces of Ukraine amounted to seven units.